uh, another story in the game with the Wrecking Crow. One called Max, called Mad Max, because he was getting people with axes, like Mad Max, you know, the fucking film. So he came, we'd already had a couple of fights with him, so he came to downtown. Uh, not downtown, sorry, he came to the, I think we had, how many Africans, and went outside to fight with another one, walking down the road. I thought Brian Cockle blew his fucking three hundred man, 30, 30, 30 fucking streets away. Put his hands up like that, when I walked forward, he would walk, kept walking back. So another one, so then I said, I'll get you. Anyway, I was that nice in person. He dropped his gold bracelet, he broke gold chain around his neck. He was jumping about, pretending to want to find me outside the club. I went down the steps. When he dropped your gold chain, he went, oh, yeah, mate, I'm sorry, I'm trying to kind of my chain back. I went, oh, I want to keep it now. I wasn't like that. So anyway, he said, I'll oh, talk to my mum and that. I went, here, look. He said, I then. I said, well, I'll leave it on that thing there, put it on the fence for him. Walk back in the door and give me, when you fucking asshole and ran off. <laughs> so then later on, he came to downtown and I had to fight him again with his mates, knocked two of his mates out. And then I was on the waterfront, the one I'm telling you about with the bridge. I was very lucky there, you know, there was about six or seven. There was Tony Johns, there was me, Bernie, Big Marty, that was the other one who was a taxi driver. Couldn't think of anything. Big Marty, big, big tall, fucking, big strong lad. Mount the taxi, he was with us. John Watson, he was another one with us. Uh, Cookie was um, Bob Law, love Bob. He's, he's like a brother, Bob. Um, known him since I was about 20 years old, never heard of him from Peter Lee, lovely man. And um, anyway, he comes along, dead cocky, this fucking Max, fucking drunk and full of, full of fucking drugs. I'd have fucking scared you, you cunt. But anyway, so I said, stop being a fucking asshole, you're not coming in, fuck off now, I'm going to give you the bat. So we're on the bridge, the bridge is about 20 foot drop, maybe 25 foot drop. When you have a, when you have a walk over, you'll see it. So we're at the bridge, but we're at, we're, not, we're in the middle, so he's walking backwards. Down, down the way off the bridge so it's getting like towards the embankment then so anyway he, he starts getting cheeky so he, he come at me and i nutted him and as i nutted him i hit him with the left hook i was really good at doing that so i bang bang and hit him and i've broke his jaw and i've grabbed him but then i've grabbed him by his belt picked him up like that and then his cookie i think tony tony stubbs grabbed me all the way some big benny mcdebbett and bob raw four of them all 18, 19, so on. I was trying to stop me throwing him off the fucking bridge. I was like, you fucking manga. So I threw him, but I, I was lucky they were there because I was trying to throw him on the concrete. Anyway, I fucking threw him and he fell sideways and he, he landed on the embankment on the grass. So I was lucky, and Bob Raw, Cokie, all them, Barry McDevitt all can prove that story. Even though he said, well, he's dead, he died. He died of an overdose of heroin, but yeah, another fucking story in the day with the Wrecking Crew. Where, but um, yeah, he ended up um, dying that lad. Sad, isn't it? So anyway, that's just a quick one, just to let you know. Thank you.